Hi, I'm Dead Girl Vapor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new, please subscribe. Today, I'm going to take you through a Nana Shrine, give you a bit of history, and don't forget to make time and visit the place. It will be worth visiting. Let's go. Yeah. But that's for you, it's the first time here? Yes. Ah. Okay, before we normally do anything, mm -hmm. normally we normally like to request our visitors to observe the moment of silence. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are observing the moon of silence. Okay. Let me welcome you officially to the Nana Heritage site. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe I can just get to know your name, please. Uh, my name is Helalian Deshishe, but uh, I'm on YouTube. My name on YouTube is That Girl Vapa. That, that girl? Yeah, <laughs> That Girl Vapa. Yes. Okay, now, as you can see, we have about three mass graves here. Okay. The one in the center is the one that is currently used. Okay. Yeah, we have about three caskets here. And the other one? Those others are empty. Mm. They are reserved for future use. The same the last? Yeah, the two. This mm. one and this one are yeah. reserved for future use. Mm. Mm -hmm. In case any new discovery should be made, mm. depending on the geographical location, mm. let's say maybe Hangona region, mm -hmm. attempt to discover new mass graves yeah. yeah they are likely to be to be to be buried to be reburied in this one of these graves oh okay but they also serve as a as, as a symbol of honoring those mass graves out there mm. that have not yet been discovered because mm. we believe that there could still be many many more graves out there that are not yet marked and they are mass graves mm. yeah. for now freedom fighters yeah, those veterans that fought in the liberation and civil years, all those people. Okay. Yeah. So this one, mm -hmm. as I said earlier, we have about three mass, three three caskets. Mm -hmm. In this casket, we have about close to four hundred human remains. Four hundred. Yeah, close to roughly four hundred. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of people. Yeah, it's quite a huge number. Uh -huh. Yeah, the human remains were discovered in Elena town. Okay. Where the new police station is. Oh, so that side of town, like yeah. from town to the other so side. It, it, it used to be a sewer site for the, for, the, for the town council. So when they were building that new police station, uh -huh. yeah, the, constructor, the construction workers came across the human remains. Okay. And it's actually where everything came out. A research was conducted to discover who human remains they, they are, mm -hmm. and upon the, the conclusion of the report, mm -hmm. the discovery, it was actually concluded that they were former Namibian plant fighters. Okay. The Namibians had lost their loved ones and they never actually got to meet them. Yeah. So the assumption was that they were also among them. But there was not actually a DNA test done to discover whose human remains how the people were linked to yeah but it was just concluded that they were namibians especially the plant fighters and the civilians so the great you can go there they covered with granite stone okay because normally it's not covered you can open the, the human remains okay but that's not <coughs> possible it's possible but it's not allowed <laughs> you know well, it looks like it's Probably they only open on special occasions. No, ah, no, no, no. no. It's, it's, it's permanent. Also, <laughs> oh, they will never open. This. Yeah, they will never do that. It's they can only open the two on the sides. Yeah, because they are empty. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's like when you open a grave, it's like you are, you are more like 
opening all the wounds again. Oh, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. So basically, we decided to bury these people here mm. because you know they wanted to afford them a proper burial, a dignified burial. So they extracted the human remains from there, mm -hmm. and then the, the town council committed this piece of land. And then the the, the artworks on the grave. Mm. Tell a story. <coughs> Tell a story of, of the kind of weapons our soldiers were using back then. Okay. Yeah, the kind of tools, the kind of, of, of yeah, even of this, as you can see. Oh, and this one is a bomb. Yeah, it's, I think it's a water bottle. Oh, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. Oh. And this one is a stick. Mm -hmm. And the boots yeah. that they used to wear. Yeah, the oh, this one is a head, ne? Yeah, it's a head. Mm -hmm. And then the sculpture here, the statue here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's actually it's just to pay homage. The reason why we have it is just to pay honor to the role that women played during the liberation struggle. Because women also went in arms. They also took arms and they went to fight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so she is clothed, the statue is, is clothed in, in uniform. That's a Namibian horse. Yeah, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a soldier. It's a soldier. You can see she's holding a Namibian flag. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the flag is just to signify that Namibia finally got its independence that they were aiming for. Okay. That's why she's holding it. Mm. The flag. Yeah. People normally ask whether it's someone in particular, but not really. On my right hand side, we also have some artworks such as this. this uh -huh. I think from this one you can tell the story just by looking at it. Maybe you can try and. Yeah, can some maybe just try and tell? Okay. What, what do you think about it? Me looking at that picture. I think it's those, you know, during war, there are those people that assist the soldiers. Maybe they were providing food to the soldiers. Yeah, That's the so picture that I have in mind. So it's not only those people that went to fight help mm -hmm. in the independence of Namibia, but there were some individuals that remained in Namibia and they were assisting our soldiers, make sure that they are fed and so on yeah as, as as one can recall from history most of them went into exile mm -hmm. but those ones that had families here mm -hmm. you know they had to, to in order to show the moral support mm -hmm. like, you know as a mother you provide food and hospitality and all these things that the men need so even the children there Mm -hmm. see, yeah, it's actually civilians also, you know, it's like everybody actually contributed to, towards the liberation struggle of this country. You mm -hmm. cannot only really accredit to say only men, while a woman also took arms and children and men, they were also there assisting mm -hmm. the means of providing, as you can see, what is displayed there, food, water, mm -hmm. carrying all these things. So this structure here that you see here, yeah, yeah, yeah I think maybe... Maybe I can ask if you have any idea about it. Hi, looking at it, it's just a beautiful structure. I actually don't have an idea of why is it structured that way. Mm. Mm. Okay, the idea actually came from one of the most common trees in, in Omisati. Okay. I think they call it the Omisati tree or the Omisati. The I'm not, Mopane. Yeah, the Mopane leaf. Oh, 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 yeah, okay. So if, if you look at that leaf, yeah, the, the way it's 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 shaped, the way it looks, yeah, it's, it's how this thing actually is shaped. So the, the architect got the idea from there. Oh, you know who inspired the air? Mm -hmm. But it's where it came from. Oh. And it's actually a good idea because those people obviously they were fighting in the bush. I hope someone who is outside Namibia is able to come visit this place. It's located in Enana. So if you want to know more about the Namibian history, you better come, come visit this place. Exactly. And on a last note, mm -hmm. we have... Yeah, the site itself actually is divided into three three phases. Okay. So the, the, the shrine itself is only one of the phases. It's the first one. Yeah, it's the first one. Mm -hmm. yeah. The second one consists of the library and the museum, oh. yeah, which is more like a... It has got two floors. That would be awesome, so in years to come, 
yeah. that whole place will be filled there will be a library and a museum so you guys if you are planning you better plan now save your coins and come visit this place it's worth visiting that's true and then on my right hand side mm -hmm. On my left hand side, pardon me, we are going, yeah, we have, the, that's not the, the set face that's oh. going to be placed, constructed there. It's uh -huh. going to be a restaurant and a craft shop. Oh, um, that's really informative. Uh -huh. So what else, uh, do you want to add something that you maybe didn't say? Thank you for watching. Um, so I couldn't put all the information, all the history that I had from this guy. But please do make time and visit the place. There is more about this place that I didn't put in this video. This guy is so friendly and uh, he can tell you is it almost that, uh, Instagram everything. It's just Cedric. Oh. So I will take you in the video so people can follow you and maybe they can also contact you when they are coming this side. Oh, that would be great. Yeah. Yes, let's grow our town. Let's uh, take another shrine to another.